Hello, work experience students. We're going to do the class orientation. If you're watching this, you missed my live spiel. So here we go. Um, I'm going to get started with giving you some vital information for the beginning. Um, so here's some contact information that you might need. So if you get stuck on an assignment or you need help on some paperwork or something, give me a call right at this number. Give me a text, actually. And when I'm done with my Zoom meetings and I'm ready, I'll give you a call back. So make sure you leave your name and what problem you're having and the time that I can call you back. Here's my email. Um, the, the most convenient way for me is for you to message me in Canvas. We're going to talk about Canvas a little bit later. So that's not the fastest way that I'll get back to you, but it's the most convenient for me. So if it's not an emergency, I'd appreciate that. Um, so if you so I can typically call you back after 145 on a normal day on Wednesday, I could probably get back to you at any point in the day. All right. So one nice thing about work experience is that we after this week will only meet once a week. That's kind of a bonus for everybody. And because of that, though, there's a special class because of that. And there's some um, requirements. So we'll have some extra paperwork and things like that to, to do to make up for the fact that we only meet once a week. So why are we here? I want you to be successful in school and in your career. Um, when you work, you get good experience. You learn a ton from working in a job around town and you make money, which is good. Um, and like I said before, it's nice that we only have to meet once a week. And the other reason we do this is because you guys are awesome. I don't know you guys yet, but in the past, the work experience students have been really good. I've always gone to the employers and gotten really good feedback about you guys. For the most part, there's a, you know, there's a handful of students who aren't good workers, but for the most part you are, and that's really fun and encouraging for me. And it means that the class is working. Um, here's some things the state wants. Um, there's some the reasons that they allow us to have this special class. You can read it. You can hit pause and read it. I won't read it to you. Um, another thing that that happens as a work experience student is um, you get to work more than other students. So people who just have a work permit don't get to work as many hours as you. And that's because I'm um, looking over your shoulder and making sure you're attending school and that you're uh, doing your schoolwork. So you get to work some more hours because of that. All right, if you were here during the live spiel, we would take notes. I'm going to skip this for my video. Here's the assignments that are due. If you can find this thing, you can click on each of these links and do each of these links to get these assignments done. Um, uh, I guess one thing I should mention is um, in class or in a video, when you see anything in red, that's a note. You need to take that note. If it's a question, don't write down the question, answer the question. If it's it written in red and it's a statement, then write down the statement. You can probably figure that piece out. Um, I'm not sure what I just did there. Oh, I clicked on the assignment. Yeah, those those are links to the actual assignments. Um, so here's some upcoming events that you need to know about. So on Monday, the 24th, there's, I'm going to have paperwork ready for you. It's super important paperwork for your grade and for the class. Basically, I can't really run the class without you grabbing this paperwork. So you're going to pick up that paperwork on Monday and then next Tuesday, we're going to talk about what to do with that paperwork and also have a pay stub at your computer by next Tuesday as well. And we'll, I'll show you a picture of a pay stub in a second, but I wanted to keep you. So now you know what this, the homework and assignments for today are, and you know, it's coming up. So I'm trying to keep you guys organized. Here's a pay stub. Um, it's, it's attached to your paycheck. If you get a check and it talks about how many hours you've worked and it talks about, um, what taxes you're paying and so on and so forth. So if you have one of those, just ha keep one and have it ready in for class. If you don't get a paycheck and it's direct deposit, you're going to have to ask your employer um, to help you figure out how to print that up off the internet. Okay. Um, by the way, the, if this video ends, I only get five minutes on these videos. So when this video ends, I'll have a next video ready. So just click on the next video. So I, I feel like my five minutes are almost up here. Um, so the thing is, is uh, this first week, we're going to meet Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll take Friday off. And then next week, starting next week, we'll meet just on Tuesday. So if to, that's going to be a problem for you, meeting on Tuesdays, um, please let me know. I got, just got the notice. I have 30 seconds left, and then we'll just click on the next video. Okay? So if you can't meet on Tuesdays during six period, please let me know. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to hit pause here and we're going to get started with the basics on the next one.